my name is Denny Hook. I'm from Gainesville, Texas. And I'm here because I have to be here. <laughs> because I, I consider this pipeline uh, very, very dangerous for our environment. And I think it may be game over for the environment if it gets completed. And I owe, I'm thinking of the future for my children and grandchildren and the future of the earth and all its creatures and the air. And we have to do something now. You know, 15 years ago, I was a minister who had a passion for the environment. I'm now an environmentalist who happens to be a minister. But I feel it is a calling, the deepest calling that I can imagine, to love God's earth and to bring it to whole, wholeness and to health. If we don't stop what we're doing now, the earth will not be able to recover. And how you can't just sit by and let it happen. Uh, you have to do something to, to stop this, but for all of creation, for all the animals, and for this glorious, glorious life that we have, and this wonderful earth that we have, that is just so superbly made, and so together and interrelated, and I'm, I'm part of it and it's part of me and I wanted to make a difference so that's where my life has been in the last 15 years. Um, my name's Ray Torgerson, I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm here um, for a number of reasons. Um, some as a result of things that I've read, um, some as a result of things that I believe. Um, there's a moral question that arises here that's not being addressed. Great wealth and power is able to um, destroy the landscape um, uh, result in the high probability of reaching a tipping point on climate change. Um, and when that takes place, my children, um, your children, um, would li not lead the kind of lives that they do today. Well, the, the failure to do something right now um, would be my not committing to um, Earth, to my grandchildren, to my children. If I don't do this, there there may not be many opportunities to, to for anyone to do it in the future. With um, 390 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, uh, if we hit 450, we, we may not have any control over it. I'm Tammy Carson. I'm from Arlington, Texas. And I'm here to help stop this pipeline because I it, it's a crime. It's a crime against nature, against the landowners, against everybody that comes after us. The potential for, for the destruction of this thing is just enormous. And so many people have gone through so many legal uh, proceedings to try to get this stopped, and the, the legal system is failing us. So I think it's time for people to stand up and physically say this is not okay, that we need to, we need to join together for the sake of the earth, basically, for all of us. Uh, and we need to just stand up and do something and, and just say this needs to stop. I'm really proud to be involved with these people that I'm involved with who are willing to stand up and put their, their physical bodies on the line to, to say this is not okay, that this is just a terrible idea and it needs to stop. And it's, I'm, I'm proud to be part of this organization and to be doing something to show how I feel about this. Uh, my name is Chris Voss. I live in Fannin County. Stopping the Keystone XL pipeline is very important to me because the tar sands in Canada are a massive uh, climate bomb, as Jim Hansen said. And um, if we exploit them to the full extent that they're available, we are basically dooming ourselves to horrible runaway climate change, which I would like to try to limit as much as possible. I feel like the climate justice movement is sort of our, my generation's um, moment to shine. It's it's my my time to step up and do something for the world um, like they did during the African American justice movement in the 60s. I, I think about that those times in the, in the 60s and the 50s when people were doing bus boycotts and sitting in in restaurants. I've always wondered um, if I were confronted with that kind of situation, if I would stand up 
to the injustice that I saw. And so when uh, Tarzan's blockade uh, came into my into my focus, I, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to test that of myself and see if I really was willing to go in there and put myself on the line to, to stop something that I feel really strongly about. Um, I really appreciate Tarzan's blockade. I think um, the organizers have been doing a really fabulous job getting people motivated and out here to work really hard to put themselves into a situation where they have the power to, to, to make change with other people.